So, the first pay-per-view event of the year was the Royal Rumble last Saturday. Um, January 27th, uh, yeah. Obviously, what I'm screen recording here is not happening tonight, because NXT is happening tonight. It's Tuesday, and we're almost like Saturday. It's fine, I'm being cringy, I know. Um... But we're going to be going over everything from the Royal Rumble. I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts about it. Honest thoughts! I'm not just copying off of random YouTubers just thinking and getting ideas. I am just doing this myself. As you can see, I I came prepared today. <laughs> uh, I, you can't see it. My notes are like right here. Um, Yeah. So how I usually do these reviews is that I usually... Also, if you like any like reviewing content, like subscribe. Especially if like it's WWE, I'm cooking. So... Um, hmm, so, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, <laughs> it's because I'm sick, I think, I feel like I'm up, okay, so how I usually do these reviews is that I go over every single match and segment of the whole show, rank them, give my overall thoughts and rating, it's that simple, so let's gonna start off with the women's Royal Rumble match, that's the whole, that's when it started off, um, it, Cooked that match, cooked for, especially from the beginning. So, you had Naomi coming at number two already, like that far into the Royal Rumble. Like, we were only like what 15 minutes at the, at the time. Well, so first of all, McAfee came back, which is always good. Um, but yeah, Naomi came back, that was freaking amazing, especially like her emotional. Her emotions in the ring, like she couldn't keep it. Like that was such a wholesome moment there. But then she started fighting. She was the Iron Woman of the Royal Rumble. Amazing job by Naomi. And yeah, Jordan Grace came out, which is actually surprising. Like they went the Forbidden Door and they got the TNA Knockouts Champion, who actually beat Naomi for the title. <coughs> Sorry. And I forgot what what other uh, surprise entered entered the Women's Royal Rumble. I think it was. I don't know, but we had something cool with Valhalla in number 24. R-Truth came out and got eliminated immediately in the Royal Rumble. Also, Valhalla went in the Royal Rumble, got eliminated, like, extremely fast. I think she holds the new record for fast eliminated, like, three seconds. I don't know. That's what that's what I read. I think. Uh, number 28 was the... Number 27 was NXT's Roxanne Perez, which is a amazing. Another... Uh, show out, awesome job. 28 was Jade Cargill, which her making her debut, eliminating Nia Jax is absolutely insane. Number 29 was Tiffany Stratton, which she had an awesome showing. And number 30 was Liv Morgan. Salty about that, but it's okay. Uh, she's still my favorite women's wrestler. Um, Liv Morgan came back. It looked like it was going to be, like at the time, I thought Bailey was going to win. And I was obviously right about that. That was just a fun showing at the end. Like this match cooked from start to finish. I mean, this was just insane. It was just crazy, and yeah, Bailey won the Royal Rumble. Like, J Liv eliminated Jade, and Bailey eliminated Liv after Liv hit her Oblivion finisher. That was just so great, and the Raw after that was like spicy too with Bailey and Damage Control. SmackDown's gonna be a banger on Friday, but yeah, the whole women's match. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. That match cooked. That match cooked. And the next up was the undisputed WWE Universal Championship between um, AJ, no, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Roman Reigns. So this match, it's not even the worst match of the night. Okay, this one was weird. It was um not your typical fade away. way. I expected, I actually expected this to not really do that well in the moment because like. We all expect these huge matches and moments. We did it with Roman versus Jay. Actually, Roman's last three title defenses have not been good. This one was okay, in my opinion. I don't know. This match, like, kind of underwhelmed. I don't. I don't even know. But like, at least Roman won clean. And if you didn't, and if he didn't win clean, like, tell me how. Yes, there's interference, but like, he won clean. He delivered a spear, and that ended the match. That's it. He didn't do anything to. Anything else? That's it. He just did his beer. <clears throat> End of the match. But like that was a little bit underwhelming. It was. It started off fast. It started off with everyone beating up Roman, but like as the time went on, like it just died out. It was just kind of overdrawn. La Knight was really the biggest star of this match. La Knight showed out, and that was awesome for it. I just noticed now that the picture that the picture I have on here is just the men's confirmed entrance before the Rumble. So sorry about that. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm going to give that match a 3.9 out of 5. It was just weird. And the next up was the United States Championship between uh, Kevin Owens and Logan Paul. Logan Paul 
And either that is just some crazy, crazy selling. Like, what he did after the match. Crazy, crazy selling. Or is he actually concussed? I mean, like, damn. Like that. Okay, first of all, the reason why he would be concussed is, um... Um, yeah, it all started off as your usual Logan Paul giving Owens match. Or your usual banger from Logan Paul. <clears throat> a lot of talent from both guys. Especially Kevin Owens, since he actually wrestled with a fractured foot. That one... That hit different. So, <laughs> I didn't even know this until today. But a fractured foot, which that was pretty cool. Oh, Kevin Owens soldiering through. Fight Owens fight. And yeah, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> like, around... Like, once it reached around, like, at least more than halfway into the match, that's when Jeff came out. Jeff is the iconic guy who works for Impulsive, I think. I have no idea. I have no idea who the frick Jeff is. I don't watch Impulsive. Um, but he came out, tried to help Logan with the brass knuckles, and then he got ejected. But here comes those goofy Grayson and, and Austin coming out and helping Logan Paul because they hate Kevin Owens. And, yeah, Logan Paul was able to hit Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens kicked out, which was insane. And then Kevin Owens hit Paul with the brass knuckles. And the ref finally got common sense out of this match. And he literally noticed right as he was about to hit three, he saw the brass knuckles on Owens and disqualified him. And, yeah, that was one of the most creative endings I've seen in a while. That was actually a pretty good match. That was a really good match. The ending was very creative. Like, that has to happen with Roman's matches more than this. And this is Logan's first title defense. Like, that was a really, really creative ending. Logan's a full-timer now, which is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, that was a really creative ending. I loved everything about that. Logan Paul retained 4.4 out of 5 for that for the U.S. title. Um, and then the main event, which let down a little bit. The men's Royal Rumble, which, yeah, started off hot, too. Jay versus Jimmy. And then uh, Carmelo Hayes came in at 5. Andrade returned to WWE at 4, I think. Now he kind of, uh, Santos tried to unify him and whatever. Uh, there's R-Truth being the absolutely crazy legend, as always. R-Truth and Dom having that hot tag in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> and you just love to see R-Truth. R-Truth, we need to, like, enjoy him while he lasts. Because he's 52. He could literally be done in the next year or year and a half or two. And then Braun Breaker came out, and then Omos came out. Yeah, Omos Sapiens Rise. I'm not going to rise right now because I don't feel like signing up. Um, Omos Sapiens Rise. Omos came back. Braun Breaker eliminated Omos, and Dom eliminated Braun Breaker. Apparently, that was supposed to be Brock Lesnar spawned the Royal Rumble, but screw him. Uh, allegations. Uh, but screw him. Uh, so Braun Breaker was literally... So Brock Lesnar was literally supposed to be eliminated by Dom, and they were supposed to have a match at Elimination Chamber. Which I think Dom would have actually, like, gotten squashed. But, no, but, like, uh, it was, like, it was still cool to see Omos being eliminated by one person. <laughs> that was pretty nice. And then, who else? Who else? Our truth entered at 24, obviously, having that awesome moment with Dom. Um, not really any surprises at the end. Sami Zayn returned at number 30, but, yeah. I rated this match at 3.75. It was a little bit slow-moving. We didn't have our iconic moments like we did last for Rumble. It was just a little bit too... They were just moving like, very sloppy, especially at the end. The end was the end just really killed the match for me. Fifteen minutes, like Cody and CM Punk were in the ring for fifteen minutes basically, and that was annoying. Um, it wasn't even annoying. CM Punk, I think it would have been better. CM Punk literally injured himself. I think right as that, I think right as it came down to them two, I think CM, CM Punk literally injured himself right there. Tori Strikes he'll be out until like SummerSlam or even Payback for all I know. But it's sad. So, like, but even with CM Punk's injury, I think he still could have done a little bit more. I mean, yeah, it's a tor triceps, but, like, still, that match was, the last part of the match really died, dove it down for me. Cody uh, went back-to-back -back with that which is good. I think that might have been a last-minute decision because CM Punk got injured. He would be, sorry, excuse me, be on to WrestleMania, but, like, I don't know. That, that match really dragged out until the end. Ugh. Sorry, but yeah, it was okay, I guess. 3.7 out of 5 for the men's Royal Rumble. And now, now to rank them. Women's Royal Rumble absolutely clears everything right here. The U.S. Championship goes second. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship goes third. And the men's Rumble goes fourth. I wish they started off with the men's and ended with the women's. Like, I would be happy with that. <clears throat> but, yeah. Well, the men, the, the whole Rumble pay-per-view, though... It kind of hit, and it kind of didn't. Right, I have it rated as a 4.2 out of 5 right here. 
I'll maybe keep it like that if I watch it later. Because I'm going to keep this until, like, around November, which I'm going to do my uh, ranking all the pay-per-views. So, I, this might change. If I watch it again, I haven't watched it since Saturday. But this whole thing might change. If, I don't know. Just, I don't know. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'll give it a 4.25 for now. That's That'll do it. Uh, thank you all for watching my Raw Rumble review. Come back tomorrow for the Raw review. The Raw after Rumble review. Um, and then after that, I don't know what's gonna happen. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.